The following lesson is linked to learning outcome 2, reading and viewing. It addresses the assessment standard that requires learners to explain the meaning of a wide range of visual, audio and multimedia texts. Hi, I'm McFarlane Muleli. Welcome to the exciting world of advertising. Many different mediums are used to present adverts. Print adverts appear in newspapers and magazines. We hear radio adverts and we see billboards on the side of the highway. When we use the internet, we see pop-up adverts. And we also send email adverts or spam. We receive SMS adverts on our cell phones and we see adverts on the sides of buses and taxis. Whilst there are many mediums of advertising, television advertising is one of the most powerful forms of advertising. In today's lesson about the world of advertising, we are going to see how television adverts follow the principles of advertising, and we are going to analyze one advert as an example. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to analyze a television advert, and use advertising terminology in your analysis. To begin with, we asked Luda Kukamur, who is the principal of AAA School of Advertising, why television is such a powerful medium of advertising. If we look at the media mix, the, the most powerful medium, and we all agree in advertising that that is the most powerful medium, is television. The reason for it is that it's a, it's a medium that you can use sound, you can use motion, you can use emotions, you can use color, you can use all kinds of things in television advertising. And it's a, it's, a, it's a medium which is not intrusive. People sit and watch television because they want to enjoy it. Uh, it's, it's relaxation. So in a relaxing way, you can appeal to the different senses of people through, through uh, television. And because it's a small screen, people hardly look away from it. So it's a very powerful medium from that point of view. We call that impact. It's a high impact medium. But it's also a very expensive medium. So if you have a product which is widely distributed um, and you want to get to as many people as possible in a powerful way, then you would use television. Like all good adverts, television adverts follow the ADA principle of advertising. ADA stands for some key steps that adverts should follow. Let's see what these are. The ADA principle states that for an advert to be successful, it must attract attention, it must generate interest, it must create desire, and it must cause the viewer to take action. ADA is an acronym because it is made up of the first letters of each of these key principles. We are now going to look at an example of a television advert. As you watch this advert, See if you can assess how well it follows the ADA principle by answering the following questions. Does the advert attract attention? Does the advert create an interest? Does the advert create desire for the product or service? Does the advert cause a target market to take action? Okay, so now that we know what to look out for, let's have a look at the advert we're going to analyze. The Taxi Advert by Liberty Life. Welcome. This is your driver speaking. Please keep your safety belt fastened at all times until the taxi has come to a complete stop. For your pleasure, refreshment will now be served. Thank you. Cool drink, mommy. Chicken or beef? Chicken. Great service. We're working on it. Did the Liberty Life Taxi advert attract your attention? Can you identify any techniques that might have been used to do this? We asked Luda Kukamu to tell us how important it is for adverts to attract attention. Let me just share with you a couple of thoughts on attracting attention. The, the starting point of, of an advertising campaign or an ad is to be able to attract attention. If you don't attract attention, then you cannot do job number two, which is to communicate relevant information, and then you cannot do Job number three, which is to get that information accepted 
and then lead to job number four, which is to persuade the reader or the listener to act in a certain way. So attracting attention is, is of vital importance. So how do adverts attract attention? One of the things that you can do to attract attention is to be different. Sometimes we try and attract attention by doing something unusual. And we can do an unusual something through humor. We can do something through sex appeal. We can do something through uh, straightforward, uh, shocking advertising. Um, and we can use black and white where you don't expect it instead of color. You can turn an ad upside down. Uh, you can have a, a, a funny shape for the ad. So there are many ways in which, which one can, can, can attract attention. Although Mr. Kukamur used print adverts as examples, a lot of advertising techniques for attracting attention can also be applied to television adverts. Adverts can attract attention by being different from other similar adverts, doing something unusual or showing an unexpected situation and using humor. Of course, there are other ways of attracting attention. But for now, see if you can work out whether the Liberty Life Taxi advert used any of these techniques. Did the Liberty Life Taxi advert attract attention by being different from other similar adverts, doing something unusual or showing an unexpected situation, using humor? The Liberty Life advert uses all of these techniques to attract attention. Firstly, this advert is different to most other adverts for life insurance and even health cover. It doesn't show an office building or people in suits. It also doesn't give graphs or statistics showing how Liberty Life products work. Secondly, being offered refreshments and being asked to fasten seatbelts politely are things we don't expect to find happening inside a taxi. As this is an unusual situation, it grabs our attention. Thirdly, in this advert, humor is created by the unusual incident and the surprised look on the passenger's face. We've mentioned that this advert is quite unusual. So let's find out from Mohale Ralibito, the head of marketing at Liberty Life, why they chose to use this concept. And that advert um, emphasizes the, the unusual and, and asks the question, what would happen if, for example, in a taxi could be treated well, you would be comfortable given. So it's, it's using the element of surprise to make a point about the fact that we at Liberty Life will go out of your way to make sure that your needs and um, are attended to and that you get good service. We just chose a familiar environment for people and also just, you know, just to um, introduce a little bit of fun and entertainment because people think insurance companies are always serious and it's, yes, it's the issues we deal with are serious, but we're not unapproachable. So one of the things we want to get across to people is that, yes, you can approach us, we're people just like yourself. Okay, we've seen how this advert attracts attention. Now let's move on to the second part of ADA, keeping interest. Think about your favorite adverts. How do you think these adverts can create interest? We asked Ludi Kukamur what strategies are used to keep people interested in adverts. See if any of the strategies you thought are similar to the ones he mentions. Not everybody is interested in all products. Therefore, on occasion, you may be advertising through a very good advertisement to people where only a fraction, and sometimes a small fraction of the people, are interested in that particular product. They may not be in the market for that product at that moment, or they may never use that product, or it may be totally out of, their, uh, out of their budget, so they won't even look at that ad because they're not interested in it. But if you are preparing an ad or creating an ad for a particular market segment and you have attracted their attention, then you can create interest in that ad. So, an advert might capture your attention but your interest will only be stimulated if you are in the target market for that advert. This raises two important questions to consider in relation to the taxi advert. Firstly, who is the target market for the Liberty Life taxi advert? And secondly, what is being advertised in this advert? We asked Mr. Ralibito to answer some of these questions. It was a, it was a very successful campaign for us because I think people then started to understand uh, what Liberty Life was talking about when it said we are working on it. 
because they said, okay, they're working on making great service, they're ma working on treating people better, they're working on making products that are better suited um, to what we need as, uh, as, as consumers or as customers. Uh, in fact, between that advert and our other one, which looks at uh, a guy who's on the beach, we had a number of executions to get that message across. Although the humor in this advert would appeal to a wide range of people, the target audience of the taxi advert is people who are looking for life insurance or who might be in the future. The advert isn't marketing a specific Liberty Life product, such as its retirement annuities or medical aids. Instead, it is advertising the idea that Liberty Life provides excellent services and care for their clients. Now, what does this have to do with interest? Well. The advertisers hoped that people in the target audience would be interested enough in the great service that Liberty Life provides to contact them about their insurance requirements. The bright colors and facial expressions of the passengers would also keep our interest and people would also keep watching the advert to see how the story ends. So far, the advert has attracted our attention and kept our interest. Now let's see how it creates desire. Desire is based on the needs and value systems of the audience. The more people think they need something, the more desirable it will be to them. What needs and values do you think the Liberty Life Taxi advert was appealing to? In this case, the need that people have to be looked after and respected is being targeted by the advert. This leads to people wanting or desiring to use Liberty Life for their life insurance and healthcare needs. This advert would also appeal to people who value humor because of the fun way in which the advert was presented. Finally, let's take a look at action in the Ada principle. All advertisers want audience to do something as a result of their advert. But does this mean the audience is always supposed to take action? And has an advert failed according to the Ada principle if they don't take action straight away? We asked the principal of the AAA School of Advertising if people in the target market always take action immediately if the advert is successful. Okay, the, for many, many years, everybody believed that advertising works. And if you advertise, then you will sell your product. Lately, we are of the opinion that there is perhaps what we call a strong theory of advertising and a weak theory of advertising. The weak theory of advertising says that advertising on occasion may attract your attention, it may even interest you in the brand, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to buy the brand because you're just not in the market for that brand. Or you have no money to buy that brand. So it doesn't necessarily mean that when you advertise that it will persuade people to rush out and buy. The strong theory of advertising suggests that there are cases where people will rush out and buy. For example, if Edgar's comes along and says 50% off for Saturday and Sunday, and let's say they focus on tracksuits and it's now the beginning of, of winter, and you know that you can buy the trusted product that Edgar's would stock anyway, and you can get it this weekend for half price, then it may persuade you, and quite strongly persuade you, to go and buy the tracksuits this weekend. So, yes, on occasion it will persuade, but on occasion it may not persuade. So where does this leave our taxi advert? Do you think it was successful, and do you think it will cause people to take action? We asked Mr. Ralibizo to explain the intention of the Liberty Life Taxi advert. Sometimes humor, because it's useful to have people, because uh, once you have people laughing, they, they remember things. Because in the end, it's about how you're going to get people to remember your message and to link that specific message to, to your particular company. Uh, and if it's in instances where you're looking at um, features or values that other people want to own, it's a case of, you know, who's the most memorable, i.e., who do we remember the most, and who do we most readily associate with a, um, with, with, with a particular feature or, or attribute, as, uh, which, which is the big word. Because it's really a contest when you think about it. Any number of us can provide 
what we provide um, as, as advertisers, uh, in this case the companies that um, provide the products. Our job is to make sure that people think of us first and foremost and more to the point that they're clear what we stand for and what we don't stand for so that they can make decisions about what to and what not to buy. So, the taxi advert was successful then. It certainly captured our attention, created interest, made the company desirable to us if we wanted to buy an insurance product. And it also told us how to contact Liberty Life if you wanted to take action. Here are two more concepts to think about. Hard sell and soft sell. Hard sell is when an advert tells us to take action now. Soft sell is when an advert does not tell us to take action now, but wants us to remember a product or service. Now, do you think the taxi advert is an example of hard sell or soft sell? Yes, it's soft sell because it wants us to remember Liberty when we are in the market for life insurance. The advert doesn't tell us how to contact Liberty right now. What about the example of an Edgar sell that was mentioned in the interview? Was it hard or soft sell? A sale is clearly an example of a hard sell because the advert tells you to take action and gives you a time limit. So here is a task to check your understanding of what we covered today. For this task, you will need to analyze a television or print advert of your choice in the same way as we analyzed the taxi advert. State how the advert you have chosen achieves each of the ADA advertising principles. In other words, how does it attract attention, generate interest, create desire and cause the viewer to take action? Then state whether the advert is an example of a hard sell or a soft sell and give a reason for your answer. Well, that's it from me today. Join me again next time as we analyze another TV advert.